Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, welcome back to this clinic. How may I help you today? Uh, hello, doctor. Uh, good evening. Uh, actually, uh, I'm here. As you know, I'm a factory worker and mm -hmm. I'm here today uh, for a flu vaccination. Uh, mm -hmm. My boss uh, uh, wanted me to take a flu vaccine, not, not only me, all of us. And because he thinks that mm -hmm. uh, it's essential for optimizing workplace productivity. But uh, in fact, I'm really worried about having the flu vaccination because mm -hmm. uh, my uncle had a serious reaction to the vaccine about oh. five years ago. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you, doctor. And I'm so worried about uh, the adverse effects. And I wanted to know... Is that essential for me to have the flu vaccination or not? Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, uh, can you tell me how do you feel about the vaccination? Do you want to get the vaccine or not? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm really worried about the side effects of uh, vaccination. Uh, and I, I don't think so. I don't think I need the vaccination. Mm hmm uh, so, uh, do you um, have any uh, symptoms of a cough or uh, uh, fever? Uh, do you have any symptoms of cough? Uh, no, I don't think uh, so, no. What about fever? Uh, no, no fever. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, can you tell me a little bit more about the reaction that your uncle had? Um, yeah, I think uh, he had a bad reaction. Uh, I think they call it uh, anaphylaxis after uh -huh. taking uh, the flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. And I wo and I'm so worried to yes, have the I same see. condition after receiving the vaccine. Mm -hmm. I can absolutely understand your concerns. Uh, well, uh, you know, everyone can get the vaccine the vaccine, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it is more strongly recommended in uh, some high-risk populations like mm -hmm. young children or pregnant women or elderly or anyone with the reduced immunity in some, uh, somehow. Uh, most flu-like illnesses are not influenza, therefore uh, you might get uh, the in um, mm -hmm. uh, some cold and coughs, uh, but uh, you might... Uh, uh, mm -hmm while you are uh, mm -hmm. had the vaccine before. Uh, yeah, so uh, it doesn't exactly get rid of all flu-like uh, illnesses, but it can uh, uh, get you immunized against uh, influenza. Uh, but the vaccine is uh, most uh, mostly safe and uh, mm -hmm. compared with the complications of the influenza itself, for example, yeah. the pneumonia and the inflammation of the brain or the heart uh, mm -hmm. the complications of the vaccine is not that much so mm -hmm. um, it's more uh, but uh, no one can tell you uh, if you want to have yeah. the vaccine or not so mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you uh, more information about the vaccine and you get to decide if you want to get the va uh, get vaccinated or not so it's mostly your autonomy that matters mm -hmm. Oh, happy to hear that. Uh, and uh, sorry, doctor. My other concern is that uh, is about my privacy of uh, my re medical records. Is my mm -hmm. boss able to seek information uh, of my medical records uh, on whether I've been vaccinated or not? Uh huh. Uh uh, this, uh, I can assure you that your boss will not get access to your medical records and all that's uh, discussed between us, me as your physician, uh, will be completely mm -hmm. confidential and I, I, uh, mm -hmm. he, can, uh, he or she cannot get access to your medical mm -hmm. records. Uh, sorry to uh, repeat that again, doctor, but... Uh, how can be sure that uh, he's not going to be able to uh, uh, to seek the information? Because uh, I've been in, under a lot of, lot of pressure to satisfy my boss, and 
uh, it's really important for him. Uh, are you sure he's not going to be able okay. to see the information? It's time. Well, how do you feel? I feel like I didn't gather enough information, but I didn't know what other information I should gather because I have never had, I've never been in the situation to ask the patient about how does, how does he or she feel about the vaccination mm -hmm. uh, in general. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I've uh, never been, I'm, I'm very serious about this. So how do you feel? I feel like I didn't do good on the information gathering and uh, on the information giving. I wasn't exactly sure what to say again. Uh, as okay. I said, this was the first time I've been in the situation. Okay. What a score would you give yourself? Mm, like a four, I guess. Uh, so which parts did you do well? Uh, structure, rapport, uh, information gathering, exploring eyes, information giving. Uh, I guess the rapport, I don't know. Rapport was sure. good. Okay. Uh, this, was it structured? You started with no. rapport, uh, information gathering, exploring eyes, then information giving. Oh, yeah, I think so. I tried so. Uh, when you feel that you were confused, it means that you weren't structured. It means that you, you didn't know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, uh, so, uh, so probably structure needed to uh, be a little bit better and I will tell you later why. Uh, okay, so what else was good? Was your, did you explore uh, the eyes? Mm, I guess not, uh, not enough because he was constantly worried about what he, uh, what his might um, my, uh, his boss might think and I didn't uh, quite get that. Uh, isn't that a cue? Yeah, it's that's definitely a cue. Okay, so uh, there was a cue that you need to, needed to identify and explore that mm -hmm. and, and then uh, dismiss that your information giving should be based on that, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's ask others. Uh, uh, feedback. Uh, I don't know if it is a, a negative point uh, or not, but uh, when the doctor uh, speaks continuously and um, doesn't use the sentences, is that okay? Are you okay? Do you, um, is that right? No, I think she was talking continuously and didn't ask anything about uh, understanding, checking understanding. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, you're right. Okay. What else? Um, the empathy was good, um, uh, but um, as I said, um, she didn't get the agenda right. Um, uh, I think like um, the patient was more worried about like being promoted if he didn't get the flu vaccine and um, didn't. Um, so what was the patient so. concerned about? He was concerned get about not getting... I think uh, to uh, get he had two concerns. He, he uh, had two concerns. Um, one, uh, that he would get a reaction like his uh, um, uncle. And second one, uh, he wouldn't get promoted if he didn't get the vaccine. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, right. So he had two concerns. Uh, so we need, and you actually uh, responded to both, didn't you? No, the f um, the second yeah, one guess. she didn't. The I think we ran out of time. Uh, he mm -hmm. responded to my first concern mm -hmm. about the adverse effect of vaccine flu vaccination, and I think if. Uh, Patient, uh, he, if she could manage the, the conversation a little more, and because I was talking about my concern about 
promoting uh, if be unvaccinated and i think she could manage it but uh, maybe uh, uh, she didn't manage the conversation well about the time managing right so you did actually pick up the cue that uh, uh, it was uh, one one cue was the uh, uncle and the other one was uh, the boss okay mm-hmm. So you did actually do that uh, and you touched on uh, the boss and you said that your medical information is confidential and is uh, cannot be uh, shown to your uh, employer, uh, but there is a caveat, okay? You know what caveat is? No. no. A caveat, there is a but, okay? Uh, in some circumstances, you have to, uh, you can or you have to show Okay. Uh-huh. okay. I didn't I get it. Got it. Sorry. Mm, in uh, we some s- situations. Yeah, in some situations, yeah. and if there is a, if there is a written consent by the patient. Okay. If, if there is a court order, okay. or if there is any uh, imminent danger to the patient or the public, then, yeah. Mm, confidential you can breach the confidentiality yeah 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 breach okay. it okay okay I get uh-huh. it. Uh, this is called a caveat okay a caveat oh, okay. Is, is a bot mm-hmm. okay. okay so uh, any other uh, feedback anyone else um, um, uh, you said that uh, got the second concern but I didn't see that uh, in her speech yes, that, that the promoting. Uh, not not completely but yeah, yeah it because wasn't completed. so she, she mentioned that uh, uh, your boss wouldn't see mm. your medical yeah, it was about ethical it was the ethical thing that uh, happened yeah legal, uh, discussed yeah um, she just mentioned uh, to some extent that uh, your boss wouldn't have access to your medical notes. Mm-hmm. If she, uh, she didn't she, say that if you give consent. Yeah, uh, that's it. That, that's what I'm, what I'm saying is uh, she actually picked up the cue uh, that one of the concerns is the boss and the promotion, but she didn't actually address it completely. And that's why I put it down here. And uh, unless you... Uh, 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 unless you consent, and uh, because he wants a promotion, uh, the the boss might say, "Okay, I want to see your medical notes, and I want you your consent." And if he says, "No, I don't want to give you my consent," it means that <laughs> so uh, I haven't done the vaccination. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, so that's that's needs to be uh, said to the patient. Uh, okay. But, uh, I mean, generally, uh, I think you did well. Uh, it's just chunking and checking that you didn't do. Now, uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, I was a bit confused. Why were you confused? I, I wasn't uh, structured enough. Uh, okay. So, how could you be more structured? Uh, to go from the Grapo and uh, information gathering to uh, picking up cues and exploring the ice and uh, and then information giving. Okay. Now listen to me and see what I what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, who's the patient? Okay. Uh, Oh, you know, thank you for coming in. And so you're here for the flu vaccine, okay? And uh, uh, now you, you're saying that um, you don't want to have the vaccination, but why are you here then? Yeah, doctor, uh, because uh, I'm under a lot of pressure from my boss, uh, oh. and mm. yeah, he says that uh, he thinks that. Uh, the prevention of illness is essential for optimizing workplace productivity and he told us that uh, all of us have to have a flu vaccine and that's I can see that's my main concern uh, which I'm here for okay now um, so um, do you want to have the vaccine 
Uh, I don't think so. You know, uh, so, I have. I, yep. Yep. So uh, I mean, if you don't want to have it, you you just don't have it, or don't uh, you don't have to. But uh, uh, yes, uh, mm. I just need to tell you that. Mm. Uh, yes, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, doctor. Actually, I'm afraid of my boss, and I'm uh, worried that uh, he might uh, have an access to my medical records, and that really makes me worry. Okay, I mean, legally, uh, uh, your boss is not allowed to have your uh, to. Uh, yeah. have access to your medical notes mm -hmm. uh, without your consent. Uh, I mean, if you consent so. to it, then yes. And uh, obviously, legally, he's not uh, um, he's not allowed to force you to have an injection or to have vaccination if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, it's up to yeah. yourself to decide. Okay, mm -hmm. happy to hear that, mm. doctor. Okay, okay, uh, stop uh, now. Okay. So the first thing is, uh, yeah, uh, if you pick up the conflict and you say, okay, you, you're saying that you're here for vaccination, but you're saying that you don't want it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would be, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you get uh, to this, uh, yes. Can I please ask, uh, you just started like, uh, you started with, you don't want the vaccination, then why are you here? Isn't that leading somehow that the patient doesn't really want it? You can just ask, may I ask why you don't want it? Or uh, is, no, does, no, that, uh, does that work that way? Uh, it's, uh, it wasn't the beginning of the conversation. I said, uh, this is uh, after asking questions, okay? Uh, so uh, one of the things that I, uh, we need to clarify earlier is the real agenda, okay? What is the real agenda? The real agenda is that because he says my my uncle had a reaction, it's just uh, an excuse, okay? Mm -hmm. The real agenda mm -hmm. is that he doesn't want to have it and he yes. thinks that he's being forced, mm -hmm. okay? Now, uh, uh, so uh, the first thing is, uh, yeah, about, uh, 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 let's step back, uh, one step back. Does he need to have this? Does he need to have this vaccination? Does he need it? No. How do you know? We don't know. Can uh, you know? But uh, the, uh, it was ordered by the boss. He thinks he needs to have it, but he doesn't want it. But what is your responsibility? My responsibility to is to inform him about his rights of how he can decline a vaccine or a medical but, decision that he doesn't want. But do you know he if he has any medical conditions? No, we should ask no. for it. So that goes to information gathering, okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. So... Uh, basically, uh, you need to, first of all, your responsibility is to make an assessment and see if he actually needs this vaccine or not. Does he have COPD? Does he have diabetes? Does he have any uh, medical conditions? And then if he said no, then you can uh, go on to say that, okay, you don't have to uh, get the vaccine. Okay, uh, but you, without doing a, an assessment, you can't say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. right. What if we do all these uh, all these assessments, and for example, he has like COPD, and we tell him that I suggest that you also I also suggest that you need to have this vaccine, but if you don't want to, that's your call. That's right. Yes. So basically, we say uh, I, I'm not saying I am. Uh, I will. T I'm telling you. I say evidence shows evidence that. Evidence shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it is advisable. Uh, so it is advisable that you receive the vaccine because uh, it reduces the risk of developing uh, serious illnesses. And in your case, because you have COPD, uh, it is advisable and it is strongly advisable. Okay. So uh, uh, basically, um, mm -hmm. you need to do your job. Your job is number one. Does he need it or not? And if he doesn't need it, you tell him. But you mm -hmm. give him the option. You give him the option of having uh, the vaccine or not having the vaccine. So 
That's mm -hmm. um, so you do your own job. You you have nothing to do with the boss. Uh, you mm -hmm. are the patient's advocate. Mm -hmm. You say uh, mm -hmm. uh, after the questions in information gathering, you say you don't have to, mm -hmm. or or it is advisable. And then when he says about uh, mm -hmm. me medical yes. access to medical notes, you say yeah, um, your medical notes are confidential. And they can only be uh, shown to your uh, to a third party uh, with your written consent, with a court order. That's it. So there is no other way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can say, okay, you you can go and think about it. And if you want to have the injection, you can have it. If you don't want it, just don't have it. Okay. Don't have it. Yeah. So uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, structure, uh, I think if you uh, um, ask these questions, these two questions, that would make a difference. That would make your um, consultation more structured. And obviously, chunking and checking, don't forget that. You, you didn't actually chunk and check. Um, if you don't interact with the patient, they, they don't give you a good mark. Okay. Uh -huh. So I have to say that is it okay with you and that, that those things. I, That's right. I completely forgot what I was doing. The rope. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. So.